Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Nikki Montana on the line, and he works business development over at Lone Snap. Nikki, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. All right, Nikki. So um, I'm excited to get into into today's topic. So we're going to talk about a lot of people listening to this show, by the way, for different investment ideas and tips and to, to see what's going on in the industry. And I understand that you're helping people earn more money on their uh, on their on really what they're what they're maybe not earning as much on at the bank right now. Um, so excited to get into that. Maybe just to give it just kicked off. Um, tell us a little bit more about about loan snap. Yeah, so Loan Snap is a residential mortgage lender, and we've kind of paved our way, you know, in the mortgage industry as a whole, based on helping the consumer or anyone looking for a house and then going through the mortgage process, helping them get that without the frustrating two-week process of, you know, submitting paperwork, going back and forth. You know, you find that you're picking up every single piece of information you ever had on yourself, and then you submitted the wrong info, and you you know, two or three weeks in and they mortgage company tells you, you can't they can't give the loan anyway. So that's what we completely erased right up front. And so when you come to someone like Loan Snap, you put your name, address and last four your social. We pull all that financial information um automatically so we don't need anything else from you. We get you instantly, you know, the rates that you can right there close in on and, and start to lock in. Um but on top of that you know, with all this financial information, we our, our system's very akin to a credit karma on steroids. And so we'll actually show, alongside the mortgages that you're looking, we'll show you across all your debt burdens, you know, high interest rate credit cards, student loans, et cetera, ways to save a bunch of money using your home. So a lot of people, um, you know, don't know or, or, you know, it's super confusing in general, you know, mortgage can be and um, so a lot of times there's ways to save thousands of, of dollars, you know, right now and over the next couple of years by, you know, paying down these high interest rate credit cards or student loans using your home. And so our system looks for those and presents it to the consumer, um, again, in milliseconds and um, really is there to help deliver value and show, um, you know, a really quick process to getting a mortgage, which you came there to do, you know, in the first place. And then, a way to get yourself in a better financial situation. Man, that's awesome. Um, so let's uh, let's uh, dive into today's topic. So you know how to earn three percent instead of zero in cash in a savings account. Like, like, how's that being done? Yeah. So you know, as you know, we're a mortgage lender, and you know, for us specifically, we do a very uh, very specific type of loan, and it's uh, what's called a qualified mortgage. Those are what the government buys. They're underwritten by all the government agencies. And um, basically what that means is you got the highest credit quality on the borrowers and the mortgages themselves. And so what we do is uh, we took this bank product that's been around for forever, mm-hmm. but has only been accessible to uh, banks and, and, you know, large institutions like that. Um, and, you know, they make a lot of money. They put up a ton of money. Um, by offering up basically lines of credit to mortgage companies like us. What we did was take that exact vehicle, but make it investable 
by any retail or institutional, you know, high net worth individual that wants the same economics and security as the banks get, only they don't have to put up hundreds of millions of dollars to get that. So it's, it's, it's you know, very unique in the sense that it's nothing new. It's been around for forever. It just hasn't been accessible to, you know, people like you and I. So that's, that's kind of what we've done and I'm happy to talk more about that. Yeah, I, I love when companies are doing this, by the way. And, I, and what I've seen this also happen is a lot of different sectors in the real estate space. Like, for example, in the past, like, you know, big operators that only accepted money from, like, pension funds or things like that um, started thinking about how to, I guess, the, the, the buzzwords that go around there is kind of democratizing um, different areas in real estate for for the um, for the average investor or even the accredited investor because sometimes in the past you know it was only institutions. So what this does, in my opinion, is it just gives a lot of people a lot of different options and really um, a way to diversify their portfolio. Which you know every every investor is going to be different and they need they should talk to their advisor and other things like that to see make sure investments are right for them, of course, because everybody you know needs different things. But to me, it's just Mm-hmm. It's just giving, um, I mean, your money's in the bank. You might be earning, you know, what, point zero something um, APY, right? Um, and you may not know exactly what kind of, um, what type of, um, what type of, uh, uh, exposure you want, and you may not want exposure to the, you know, to the broad market. I mean, t- tell me a little bit more, like, and I don't want this to be a loaded question when I say, is this safe? Because I'm not telling you to give financial advice, but just tell yep. us a little bit more about the risk factors, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, you, you said it, right? You want to talk to your financial advisor, make sure it's right. Um, but look, we're in an interesting time. Interest rates are zero. So anything sitting in the bank is going to make zero dollars, no matter how big that is. Um, you can't go to the bond market. That's going to return zero. And so we're in this interesting time where you almost have a lot of people have nowhere really to hide unless you want to take the market risk. Um, and you know, who knows what's, you know, coming around the corner there. But when it comes to safety, I think the best way to think about it from a high level is there's a reason why banks have been putting up billions and billions of dollars every single month in vehicles identical to this. Um, the reason it's safe is because what, what they're doing is they're funding the loans that we originate for a very short period of time. They're basically floating the money because these loans are already pre-sold. We just need to close them to the end buyer. Again, the end buyer is a, a government agency um, that buys these mortgages, and then they take the long-term risk. What these banks are doing um, are, are floating money for a period of five to 20 days where that's their risk and exposure time. So they're not worried about default. They're not worried about, you know, so many of the things that when people think about mortgage, um, you might worry about or have to calculate risk and see if it's right. That just doesn't pertain to this sector because it's this really quick interim funding of these extremely high quality loans. And that's why the banks feel extremely comfortable putting up so much money to make, you know, the interest rate is 3%. It's not, incredible but you know they're putting up a lot of money and the interest rate is what it is because of the safety so when their money's at work in that five to 20 day period it's secured by those mortgages so that's their collateral so they're even you know they're protected you know on another level so even if things were to go crazy somehow the borrowers default and you know right after getting the loan and within that five to 20 day period somehow you know all the mortgage companies blow up well the banks then are left there holding and owning the, these extremely high quality homes at a 40% discount. And so the last point here is when you look at what happened in 2008, the mortgage crisis and everything blowing up there, well, the average you know, asset value of a home dropped 33%. So at a 40% discount, even in the worst case scenario, you know, your money's still there and then some. And so that's why, you know, the banks feel comfortable doing that. And that's, kind of a good good model to follow if you're a consumer looking at this type of investment or, or trying to figure out if it's right for you. Man, that's awesome. And um, so what type of, like, uh, duration? Like, if somebody invests, and I know this can vary, right, but just give, give me some averages. Like, if somebody invests, like, is there a lockup period? Like, give me, give me some of that bit of it. Great question. And then I, I should have added this right up front. But so, you know, it's the same thing that works for the banks. So the liquidity is two to three days. 
uh, there is no lockup. It, so it's a, it's a revolver. So it's kind of the way to think about it is there's money coming in and money going out at an extremely high rate, funding loans and then coming, um, back. So in a CD, so in a CD, for example, you're locking it up. Like it might be locking it up for a year for your point whatever, right? Point zero whatever. Um, but for this, it doesn't work quite that way. Am I understanding that correctly? Exactly. So it just, it's, it's not a savings account. Um, mm-hmm. but it, you, the way to think about it is a high interest rate deposit account and you can get your money back in two to three days. Uh, we wire it right back. So oftentimes it comes back, um, uh, that same day. We say two to three, you know, in case it happens on a Friday night and you're, you're trying to pull out. Obviously that'll get mm-hmm. processed following Monday, but that's part of the reason why we're seeing a lot of volume is, mm-hmm. you know, typically when you go into a CD, you're going to get locked up. Um, you know, rates can fluctuate there, but with this product, again, it's the same thing that the banks have got for forever. And, you know, we, we agree to a price. We're going to pay you 3% fixed. Market fluctuations in, in the mortgage market are passed through all the way to the end consumer. So the banks or investors here, their principles never affected or economics. It's going to be 3%. And if they want to pull out and go chase, you know, a, a higher risk, higher reward, investment they can do that at any time are there any uh um um uh minimums like tell me about like the account structure yes so our minimums today are a hundred grand and so this is an accredited investor product um you know rick d so um you know as it as you know i think as, as this becomes more and more available to the public i hope that we can get it so, you know, anyone could, could get in there. But unfortunately, you know, we're kind of – we've got the handcuffs on. Um, you know, as you know, it's a pretty stringent place to, to be in fintech. And so we got to, you know, make sure that we're in the lines there. And so that's what the minimums are. Awesome. So, Nikki, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about Loan Snap overall, I mean, what's the best way for them to follow up and to connect with you and your team? Yeah, I would say just shoot me an email directly. So that's Nick, N-I-C-K, at GoLoanSnap, G-O-L-O-A-N-S-N-A-P.com. And I'm happy to chat through it and and send more information. Um, You won't find anything about this on our, our, you know, main site, but at at GoLoanSnap.com, again, because this is a a Reg D product. But um, I'm happy to give you all that information and point you in the right direction and talk through anything that you might be curious about. Awesome. Well, Nikki, been great having you on the show today. Um, lo- love to see alternatives for uh, investors out there looking for different uh, opportunities in the market. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you learned a lot. If you did, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Definitely want you to be a return uh, subscriber and viewer. And Nikki, thank you again for coming on the show. Thanks so much for having me, Adam.